You follow my channel, you know I love AR pistols. I also love shooting calibers that are cheap to shoot, at least in normal times anyway. I came across a 7.62x39 AR pistol from Radical Firearms. I had to give it a try. Normally, this is the cheapest rifle round that you can get other than 22 long rifle, and nobody argues the effectiveness of the 7.62x39. Let's just take a look and review the Radical Firearms 7.62 AR pistol, see how it performs, Check this out. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. So this is how it arrived from Radical Firearms. Now I'm going to need, obviously, to put an optic on it at the very least, but I think I might put a few other things on it, see how much fun we can have and how much we can up that fun factor. Now before that, let's just take a look at the specs and tech, and then get it zeroed at 50, and go from there. Guys, I think we're going to have some fun with this. Okay, so it did change a little bit. Functionally, everything is exactly the same. I basically just sort of accessorized it up in the, un up in the fun factor. Got my hollow sun on here. Got my hollow sun magnifier. I've got my Viridian X5L. Um, I'm gonna show you all this stuff this is not the flash suppressor that came on it. This is an adapter so I can put my can on it. We're going to have some fun with that. Um, see how much we can quiet down the 7.62x39. I do have, I think, maybe some subsonics left. We'll see if those uh, cycle this. They, I didn't have so much luck in an AK, but we'll give it a try with this. Okay, so I've been seasoning the barrel. And yeah, that's a different lower. I've got an SBR with a trigger tech, match grade trigger, about two and a half pound pull. This way, you know, I can shoulder it. I've got a custom trigger. I'm using Tula and I do have my can on it. What I'm wanting to do right now is show you the capability of that barrel and its length. The rest of the stuff you can alter, but you can't, you can't basically change the barrel per se. That's what you're getting when you get the gun. The only thing is, is the trigger. But I also wanted to show you with the trigger tech that thus far I have not had a single light primer strike and I have a match grade trigger at 50 yards here. Let's just see what we can do like this. Okay, so I just did five rounds. Now granted, you know, we're using what some would consider the most inaccurate ammo. I've actually found this, and the reason I went with 154 grain soft point is because that's what I have, but that's also what I found most accurate, and I can use it for hunting. Let's just run down there and see what we got. Okay, so this has basically been the sighting in process. I started um, with a few down here, aiming up here, kind of started getting it up, then I was aiming here and I got these. Then I came over here and grouping up here. Now, I have been seasoning the barrel. Now that might seem odd to some, you know, to season a 10 inch 7.62 by 39, you know, first shot, third shot, fifth shot, 10 shot, completely clean it, polish the barrel, lube it, and then come back. And doing that process changes the zero. And then usually this is about when it starts tightening up is about the fifth cleaning and polishing. And then that's what I got. And I was happy with that. So then I went and I did a five round group. I had one flyer, you know, there's three, nice. We're still breaking this in, but guys, that makes me happy 
for what I'm shooting. Now I want to go back. I'm going to put back on the lower that came with it so we can see what it's doing. The only thing is, is I'll have my can on it. And we're going to go back to the CQB range, finish breaking in the barrel, and then on another day that's not windy, I'm going to reach out at some distance, and then I'm going to come back maybe with a couple different ammo brands if I can find them, and we'll do kind of a final cleaning and see what we get for our final groups. Okay, so I got this zeroed at 50 yards. I was using a different lower because it had my trigger tech, match grade trigger. Wanted to test, make sure that that fired off the 762 by 39 did not have one single light primer strike. Maximized our accuracy. We were getting some tight groups. Now I've got back on as it came, minus the can. Of course, it didn't come with the optics or the laser. Speaking of laser, Viridian X5L. I absolutely love this. I think I got it dialed in. Uh, the nice thing is, is once your optics dialed in, you just adjust this for the distance that you want. I've got the Tula that I've been using. Once I get transitioning, I get kind of crazy and uh, I want to make sure I have enough ammo. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the laser here. We'll transition a little bit, fire off some rounds, and then I'm going to go to using the sight. And in case I forget, this is the Warhammer. I absolutely love this charging handle, guys. Uh, I've got it on several rifles, been using it for several years, and I, I just love it. You know, the nice thing is, is, especially when you have an optic up here, if it's in the way, you just grab both hands and pull. Anyway, let's have some fun with the laser here. Um, you can see I'm just using it from my side. I'm just going to flick the on switch. We'll go down there at 25, let's even go 50. Nice. <laughs> now you see why. And this is also laser light, so I could come out here, total darkness, and do the exact same thing. I'm going to switch my laser off. I'm going to take my magnifier, move that to the side, and let's just see how fast I can transition here using my red dot. That, will, that last one was 60 yards. Okay, this is the mag that came with it. I have not had one single issue with loading, you know, jamming, light primer strikes, nothing. Um, what I want to do now is wait for the wind to die down, and then we're going to reach out and see how far we can go with distance. Real quick note, too. Anybody that's got ammo, I'm working on some sponsorships. I still don't have a sponsor. Uh, hopefully, maybe something soon, but anybody that produces 762 by 39, here's an opportunity to have it included in videos. Okay, another thing that I wanted to show you is a possibility, you know, with the lower, or, you know, if you've got a lower, you just get an upper and you can do all the same things. This is my SBR lower there. Um, I've got a Fostech Echo 2 trigger in here. I also like Franklin Armory. Um, either one, you know, I think they're both fabulous. Anyway, this is the mag that came with it. Let's just see what we can do here. And yeah, SBR, stock, shoulder. Help if I turn it to echo mode. Folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button.
That does as much as anything, so hit that button. I just got a new webpage, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper, and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy, stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Scale of 1 to 10 fun factor, that was a 15. I actually was really surprised how manageable this is. It actually, I've got an AK uh, with the same thing. It's got a Franklin Armory binary trigger. And this is actually far more manageable than the AK with that, with that speed. I am really, really liking this. Anyway, the video says it for itself. You decide. Now I've got the barrel really good and dirty, and I think broke in. I'm going to go back. I want to clean, uh, season, polish, and now I want to start reaching out at some distance and see how far we can go. I'm going to show this. you real quick. If you are interested in the Fostec or Franklin Armory binary trigger, it essentially comes ready to go. You wouldn't even need to use the sticker. Okay, so I just did the seasoning, the barrel, probably for the last time, at least for this video anyway. It's going to take 100, 200 rounds before I'll, I'll do that again. Let's just see uh, how fast we can get them on target at 100, and then we'll reach across over there. We've got a little wind, but not too much. All right, then. I expected that. Let's try two. Okay, so I was getting ready to jump out to 200 and was missing the target. Wasn't really sure what was happening. So I came back here to 50 and for whatever reason, it was really low. I tightened up everything with this, checked on this. Um, didn't seem to make any difference and that's where we started. So I tried taking my can off and it started grouping really good. I don't have any baffle strikes or anything going on with a can that I can see. Um, but now I'm having feeding issues, but I was using different mags that didn't come with it. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to switch back to the great big banana mag that came with it and see if that does anything. Okay, so I just nailed five on the 200 and I forgot to hit record. <laughs> and then I started explaining it with the can on there and shooting this Tula ammo. Um, my BCG and everything got really dirty. It was providing resistance, and that's why I was having the failures to feed. So I went down, oiled it up, cleaned the BCG real quick, and I just nailed five. But I didn't, didn't hit record, so let's do that again. And then we'll reach up to 300 and see how that goes. Rush that one. Let's give a go up there at 300. Nice. All right, got to try four. I just wanted to show you yesterday after doing the full, you know, the, the binary trigger and doing the kind of the last break in after I cleaned it before I was shooting distance, that's what I got. Then I kind of had a few issues with shooting distance. And this morning, cold barrel before I reached out, I just wanted to see how the zero was. <laughs> that works. Okay, so last night I was doing some distance shooting. I thought I could hear the tings, but when I did the editing, not so sure. Um, 
I upset the geese there. So anyway, I want to try again at 300 and see if I can get a solid ting. There we go. All right, that's definitive. Now let's try 400 again. Okay, I'm gonna reach up there. I did put back on uh, my SBR lower with the trigger tech in it. I just, I want that extra trigger control to see if we can hit 400 with this barrel. Nice, pretty sure that was a hit. Nice. Sweet guys. If I if I got that right, that was five or oh, five or six for six. Let's try five. think those are hits. Have to go back on the editing um, and see sometimes the, the comeback on these, the reconnect is a little slow with the echo. But anyway, I don't know. It is what it is. You decide what you think. There you go guys it is what it is you decide what you think you gotta love the weather here in nebraska yesterday was mid 70s and today is actually at freezing anyway if you found the video helpful be sure to like comment and sub guys subbing helps as much or more than anything else until next time happy shooting remember educate our young people to guns and gun safety be an ambassador for the second amendment and be a safe and responsible gun owner.